Hello everyone, in this tutorial what I'll be covering is the echo command and I know I have been using the echo command several times in the previous tutorials but the echo command is probably going to be one of the most used PHP commands that you use while you're coding PHP code. So it really does deserve its own tutorial because you can do so many great things with the echo command. So let's just go ahead and jump in here. So as I previously mentioned in my previous tutorials with the echo command you can output content or text to the browser you know by sending that data to the server and the server sends that back to the browser as plain html so let's just review a little bit about how you can output a string or integer to the browser so let's use a variable this time let's say we have a variable called a string and we're going to assign the string hello Robert to that variable. And let's create another variable and we're going to call it total. And we're going to assign the value 400 to it. So from this, we can tell that this variable again is a string variable because of these double quotes. And we can tell that this is a integer variable because it doesn't have quotes, right? So with the echo command, what we can do here is we can echo out what's inside this a string variable simply by typing echo a string and followed by a semicolon. Or as we have been doing in the past, I could have written something like echo hello world or hello Robert if I wanted to. So let's just go ahead and save this and you know see what it does so you can get an idea of what's going on here. So I'm going to save it as echo.php, go into my browser, type localhost, if I can spell it, the PHP basics, and let's replace this with echo. All right. So as we see here, it says, hello, Robert, and then it says, hello, world, which it should. So again, what it's doing here is when I say echo, this variable is having to go in this script, this PHP scripting block, and look for this variable, and it finds it up here, and it sees what's inside that variable, which is hello Robert, and it outputs that. But what we also can do with the echo command is we can use HTML within that echo command. So let's say, for example, I'm gonna use these same variables here. Let's say I'm gonna make this text here bold. And again, I expect you to know some of the basic concepts or some of the basic HTML tags that you can use. So now, as you can see, this text should be bold, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and save this, refresh my browser. And as you can see, Hello Robert is bold. Now, what I also can do is let's make a line break in this. Let's say we don't want hello Robert and then hello world right after hello Robert. Let's put hello world on a separate line. So what we can do is for the sake of making this easier for you to understand, I'm gonna create this extra echo command and I'm gonna put a line break and I'm gonna save this, refresh my browser. And as you can see now, hello world is on the new line. Now I could have simply put this line break inside this echo command and not have this extra echo command. And let's refresh. And as you can see, it stays the same. But whatever makes you comfortable, whatever is easier for you to actually spot different things in your PHP script and block, do what's best for you. So. Again, for the sake of making it easier for you to understand, I'm gonna put that there and then and then just say this is a line break. And then finally, of course, here, let's make this hello world underlined. So again, these are just some basic HTML tags. And again, I'm gonna refresh my browser and then you see hello world is underlined. So it's really neat that you can use HTML within PHP. But it's very important that you use the correct HTML syntax or, or of course, you're going to have issues. All right. So now that I have exposed you to the concept of using HTML within an echo command, 
there are other things that you have to watch out for as you really have to be careful when echoing quotes or double quotes. The reason being is any other string or HTML code, HTML code that uses quotes can also cause problems when using the echo command. See, the echo uses quotes to define the beginning of the string and the end of the string. So again, here is the beginning of the echo string and here's the end of the echo string. All right, so here's just a list of ways that you can avoid running into the issues that can occur while using HTML code or strings that include double quotes within an echo command. So one of the first ways or one of the first tips are use single quotes for double quotes in your string. All right, so let's use an HTML tag that we know uses double quotes. So let's say, for example, we want to display an image in the web browser. So I'm going to say echo image source equals normally we would put double quotes here, but remember this echo is looking for the start of the string, which is indicated here. And then the end, which is indicated by another double quote. So we can't use a double quote there. So we have to use a single quote and followed by that we can put the URL of the image. So let's just go over here real quick and find some clip art so I can show you an example of this. I'm going to take this guy here, copy the link to that and paste it over here. And let's make my text editor a little bit wider so you can see this. All right. So of course we will end it with another single quote. Normally, again, we would use double quotes, but we don't want to tell PHP that this that's the end of this echo string. So we're going to use a single quote, then followed by a greater than sign, then followed by a double quote and then a semicolon. So as you can see here, this is our image. And then here for this echo string, we're defining the start of the string and the end of the string. So let's save that and let's look in our browser to see what has happened. So I'm going to refresh this. And there we go. So hopefully it's clear now the problems that could occur if you were to forget that, OK, I'm programming or I'm coding PHP code. So now if I'm using an image or if I want to display an image, I can't use a double quote here like I normally would if I was using the correct HTML syntax, but I have to use this single quote here because PHP is going to think that this is the end of the echo string. And then it's going to look at this and think, okay, what in the world is this? And it's going to display an error. You know what? Let me just go ahead and actually save it and show you what happened. So as you can see here, we get this error and it says, look at line 10. So I look at line 10. I say, okay, what's wrong here? And I can see that I made a mistake. So just simply change it back to a single quote and everything's fine. So again, as you can see with this text editor, even when I did make that mistake, it highlighted this a different color. And it even thought that this was a comment here because of the two forward slashes or the two slashes. So it's just one thing to note if you're using classes or you're defining tables or styles, or any other HTML code that uses double quotes, you want to try to remember to use a single quote and you will run into this issue a lot. I still do at times. So just be aware of that. So the second tip is to escape your quotes that are used within a string with a backslash. So let's just make a little bit more space here. So right before the quote, you want to use a backslash and then the quote. So what this does is it lets PHP know that you want to use double quotes within your string and you don't actually want the echo string to end or you don't really want to state that that's the end of the echo string. So let's just give you an example here. Let's say that I want to say I'm just going to put a comment here and I'm going to say I want to say this. Hello. Or let's say, for example. Here's a better example. Robert said. Hello, 
YouTubers. That's what I want to say. All right, so let's create this echo command and let's say Robert said, hello, YouTubers. You know, is that going to work? It's not, right? So what we need to do here is what I just introduced to you is use the backslash. So right before the double quotes, we can put a backslash there. And of course, we want to use a double quote here, too. So we need to put another backslash. But we're still missing another piece of key uh, component to this echo string. We have the starting double quote, but we don't have an ending double quote for this echo string. So we need another double quote here. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and we're going to display it in our browser and see what happens. So as you can see here, it says Robert said and with double quotes here. Hello, YouTubers. So again, hopefully this makes sense to you as well. If you do need to use those double quotes within the echo string, just use a backslash right before the double quotes. So the last tip is pretty straightforward. Just simply do not use quotes and you won't run into any of these issues. But if you're like me and you want to be really creative and you want to use the HTML code, you're probably going to have to use one of these other two methods I mentioned before.